Hello guys. So today we'll be continuing this week of prayer and today I will be speaking about forgiveness. So let's start and let us pray first, okay? Our Father in heaven, thank you Lord for this day. Thank you for your blessings and thank you for helping us. Thank you for giving us the desire to understand your will and your character. Please help us to do so effectively. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, guys, so let's start. Let me give you a little bit of a background story about myself, okay? So I was born to an Adventist family, both my dad and my mom are Adventist, and I was born inside the church. So since I was born, my parents have been taking me to church, Pathfinder Club, Adventure Club, uh, church outings, and all this stuff. So I have been involved in the church since like forever. And since I was little, because of that, my parents and in church and my grandparents and all these people have been teaching me about the character of Jesus, that I should have the character of Jesus. And as a small kid, I didn't really understand what this meant. So what does the character of Jesus really mean? That's what I thought. Like, so I should have the character of Jesus, I know, but what does this mean exactly? So I used to ask the pastor and elders and even my grandparents. And they always used to tell me, the character of Jesus is love. And I always got that answer. And it's true, it's love. It, that's very true. But for me, at that age, I didn't really understand. But what exactly does that mean? To me, it didn't really make much sense. So I kept growing up with this sense of, an accomplishment and because I didn't understand how to progress with my spiritual life and as I continued to grow older this kept bothering inside my head and I didn't understand how to keep going until one day I heard this pastor preach uh, about the character of Jesus and it really struck me one of the things he pointed out was that forgiveness was one of the main parts of the character of Jesus so we should have forgiveness. That's the conclusion I came to. But what is forgiveness? So what does it really mean to have Jesus' character in the sense of forgiveness? What does this really look like in our lives? So first of all, let's start by defining forgiveness. So what is forgiveness? First of all, forgiveness is not something somebody deserves. That's the thing. So deserving and forgiveness cannot go in the same sentence. Nobody deserves forgiveness because forgiveness is not something you can earn. It's not something obtainable. It's not something uh, you can work for. And that doesn't come from human nature. It's something that comes from God's nature. But everybody can have and can give forgiveness. And as I said... It is against human nature. We as humans are not built to forgive. Our bodies have were from the beginning made in the character of Jesus. So they were about peace and forgiveness. But because of sin, our character has been damaged. And we have been turned into this species that is all about war and fighting and holding grudges. Something that is not the character of Jesus. And we should fight against this because this is something evil. That when we do these things, the devil becomes happy. Satan becomes happy whenever we hold a grudge. And this is it's not something that Jesus would want. It's not a character of Jesus. But let, let's go into the Bible. And let me show you how exactly Jesus and God showed character throughout the whole story of the Bible. Let's start at the very beginning with the, the first humans, Adam and Eve. So in the Bible, it talks about how they lived in the Garden of Eden, but then they decided against all of God's commandments and warnings to eat of the fruit, of the forbidden fruit in the middle of the garden. And what happens afterwards? The rightful thing that they deserve was to be punished. And even to be killed at that exact time because they disobeyed such a simple rule. But what did God do instead? Instead of being angry at them, 
he forgave them. He forgave them and instead of hurting them, he created a whole plan to save them from that terrible hole that they had put themselves in. This is something mind-blowing that God showed from the very, very beginning of history. Then let's fast forward into the Gospels. When Jesus came to earth, what was Jesus' main work on earth? We often said that it was to preach, to preach the Gospel, and uh, to make miracles, so to heal people. And that is true, that is true. But if you see closely, Jesus' main work on earth was to forgive people. When he healed the blind man, he first forgave him. When he saved the woman, the prostitute who was about to be stoned, he first forgave her. Forgiveness is something central to God's character. It's his main work on earth when Jesus came to earth was to forgive us. That was the whole idea of the whole plan. And let's take, for example, his last act on earth, when he was on the cross, when he was being hurt by the Romans, and they were casting lots on his clothes. Let's see what the Bible has to say about this. Let's go to Luke 23, 34. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they divided up his clothes and cast by casting lots. This is by the, in the New International Version. So as we can see here, Jesus' last act on earth was to forgive people. When he was dying, he called out to his father, not for his own hurting, because he was hurting or anything, but to save those who were hurting him, to forgive them. That was the, the last act Jesus did, and probably one of his biggest miracles. It is something we cannot even wrap our heads around. Like, it's crazy. And this shows that forgiveness is something central to God's character, and we should go for it like we should try hard to achieve it it is not something easy not something easy at all i can say by experience forgiveness is not something that comes easily it is something extremely hard to achieve and to forgive fully is something that you can only achieve with the help of god it's not something easy and how do you achieve like true forgiveness so what does true forgiveness look like and what I learned was that true forgiveness is when you can pray for that person, that you, that enemy that you hate, when you can pray and ask God to protect them. That is when you can know that you actually forgave this person. And let me tell you, this is one of the most freeing feelings on earth. It's, it just completely frees you entirely. And this is something that has been shown by scientists to be something true. Like physically, your body is almost healed by this, this forgiving act. Our bodies were created in God's image. And they have been hurt by sin, but they are still in the shape of God. Like how God wanted it to be. And God is a God of peacefulness and forgiveness. As we can see, as I showed you in the Bible. And our bodies are hurt. When we hold a grudge against somebody or we don't want to forgive. But when we let them go, we can finally be more relaxed. And our bodies are almost healed. That is why some doctors and therapists even use something they call forgiveness therapy. It is something that really works well with many people. And scientists are working now more into this because it is such an effective method of uh, curing people. Now, I have talked to you about all the good effects of forgiveness, but as we all know, we're all human, and it's very hard for us to forgive. But with God's help, we can always do it. We just have to draw closer to God. Pray to God more. Have a closer relationship to God. Ask Him. Tell Him, Lord, I want to have this forgiving feeling that you want me to have. Now, let me tell you, uh, a story I heard that was really impactful to me. So I heard this story about this family of missionaries, a dad, a mom, a son, and a daughter. The four of them were missionaries in Palau. That is a small island in the Pacific. And they were helping people with a hospital. They were uh, spreading the gospel. They were giving food and clothes and all good. And then one day something terrible happened. A drunk man 
came into their house, killed the dad, raped the mom and killed her, killed the little boy, and then raped the, another little girl. And then he just ran away. The police came and they found all the dead bodies. And then the people in the island, they got so mad and they went looking for the person who had done this. And they trapped him. And they took all his clothes. They left him naked in the street. A few days later, the mother of the man who was killed came. He, she flew all the way from the United States to Palau. She flew in and they took her to see the bodies of her dead son and his family. She saw them and then she asked to go see the man who had killed her son. She went and she saw him. He was all naked and beat up by the angry people. And you know what she did? Instead of being angry, which is something most of us would do, instead of being angry, she went to her home. She got the clothes of her only son. Her son she, she, that had been killed by this man. She got his clothes and then took them and gave them to the man. This, this idea of forgiveness is something so foreign to us. But as we can see from this story, forgiveness can always be reached. Forgiving others can always be something that we can do. With God's help, we can do it. And it is something that by doing it, you free yourself from so many things. So I want to encourage you guys to please pray to God, get closer to Him, and forgive. This is something that will help you so much. Thank you for listening to my talk. And I hope that you can put it into practice.